Good morning, everybody. It is 827 here in Florida, and uh, I just wanted to come on and give you guys some, uh, you know, just a, a reiteration on uh, Sister Amanda. She did a video yesterday about uh, the half shekel uh, that now has President Trump and King Cyrus's pictures on it. And uh, it also has the uh, declaration of the uh, ball floor. Now, I'm going to go into a few things just to give you guys just a li little bit of history. And then uh, at the end, I'll give you the kicker because I'm, I'm going somewhere with this, you guys. Um, this is, a, I was like, wow, uh, I was blown away. Um, this is just something else to me. Now. We know that Trump could stay in office for eight years. Okay, he's been in office right now for a little over a year. Um, now, what I believe is going to happen, now this is just my thoughts, I believe that the uh, tribulation period will start this year at some point. I don't know when. Only God knows that. And um, There's too much evidence to prove that it, it, you know, that it's going to. Okay, that's all I can say about it. There's just way too much evidence. Now, um, this shekel, like I told Amanda, I said, you know, that, that, that this is what they used to do in ancient um, Jerusalem. This was a, um, I believe it's a half dollar. Um, back then, it was a different amount. Um, I believe I could be wrong but it was to go for like a, you know the maintenance and stuff like that of the uh, temple and uh, the Jewish priests of course they did not have to pay but you know the Levites and the Israelites had to pay and they would go um, this was a particular feast that they would have to go to 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 honor this um, you know the the uh, you know, the maintenance of the temple of the Lord God. And I was just amazed because <laughs> we've got President Trump on there, on this shekel. And like Jesus said, render what belongs to Caesar to Caesar. And what belongs to God to God. And that's why I was like, are you kidding me right now? And she said, could this be the abomination of desolation? And I was like, well, I said, well, it could be. I said, but, you know, after I got off the phone with her and everything and I was thinking about it, you know, and, uh, you know, I like to kind of delve into stuff and dig into stuff to see what's going on with it. And it just didn't make sense to me. Okay, because I don't believe that Trump is the Antichrist. Now, I'm not going to say who I believe it is. But it's pretty well known. I'll just say that. Um, uh, I believe that Obama could be. I'll just put it out there like that. Okay, you guys. Um, so, without further ado, uh, you know, the three things that's on this coin is Trump, Caesar, and, I mean, I'm sorry, not Caesar, Cyrus, and uh, Balfour. Now, I'm going to read to you what the uh, Balfour is. We already talked about what the... Uh, the the shekel <clears throat> is for excuse me guys because a couple things here my computer is being really super super slow and I do have chemical sensitivities and my throat is very raw so just bear with me you guys and uh, we'll try to get through this as quickly as possible there is a kicker at the end and I think you guys are going to be a little surprised because you know in the Bible uh, we always have shadows of what's to come. What's already been done will be done again. Okay, basically in our word, in our Lord's word, in most things. Okay, so like I said, my computer is being a bear. Come on, Mr. Bellfire. Because <laughs> I want to show you what the... Um, what the ball for is and my computer like I said is not 
it's never done this before. I don't know why it's being so slow. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so this is called the Ball for or Bow for Declaration, you guys. This has happened. Uh, well, I'll give you a little bit of history on it. The Ball for Declaration was a public statement issued by the British government during World War I announcing support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. Uh, then an Ottoman region with a minority Jewish population. Okay, so I'm going to read you a small quantity of this declaration. Uh, it says to Dear Lord Rothschild. Okay, so we know who the Rothschilds are, and I don't need to uh, uh, go into that any more than what uh, what I'm saying here, because I know you guys are very intelligent on uh, most of this kind of stuff. Anyways, it says, Dear Lord Rothschild, I have much pleasure in conveying to you, on behalf of His Majesty's government, this following declaration of sympathy with Jewish Zionists aspiration which has been submitted to and approved by the cabinet. Okay, so that is on the coin. Okay, so there's there's three things on the coin. Now what I want to do is, is I want to um, show you who King Z Cyrus is. If, like I said, my computer will work with me. Okay. Hey, it's amazing. Yay. <laughs> Cyrus the Great is un unconditionally praised in the Jewish sources. It is likely that after the Persian conquest of Babylon, Cyrus had commenced his relationship with the Jewish leaders in exile, and that he later was considered as anointed by God. The Hebrew Bible states that Cyrus issued the decree of liberation to the Jews. He's kind of a, a savior to them back then, you guys, okay? Cyrus's edict for the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem marked a great epoch in the history of the Jewish people, according to Ezra 4, 1-6. The enemies of Judah and Benjamin asked to help build the temple, and when this was denied, hired counselors to frustrate the people of Judah from completing the rebuilding throughout the reign of Cyrus, Exerces, and Artaxerxes until the reign of Darius. Okay, uh, and I'll go on here real quick. Uh, the work recommended under the exhortations of the prophets, and when the authorities asked the Jews what right they had to build a temple, they referred to the decree of Cyrus. Darius II, who was then reigning, caused a search for this alleged decree to be made. And it was found in the archives of Ecopatana, whereupon Darius reaffirmed the decree, and the work proceeded to its triumphal, triumphant close. Now, as you can see, Cyrus, he was um, well loved by uh, the Israelites, okay, um, and... Uh, You know, he he conquered the Babylonians for them. And he, uh, until, uh, well, after him, after Cyrus, came Darius, okay. And Darius, you know, he made a search for this alleged decree. And, um, and he found it, and he resumed the building okay of the the temple okay so we have Cyrus that started it and we have Darius that finished it okay so let's take a little look see at Darius 
and who he is. Hold on, you guys. Like I said, my computer is being a bear. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Computer. Work with me. Work with me. <laughs> okay, Darius the Mede is mentioned in the book of Daniel as king of Babylon uh, between Belshazzar and Cyrus the Great. But, okay, so I'll just stop there. He, he, okay, so Cyrus started it and Darius finished it. So what I'm proposing here, this is the kicker, you guys. What I'm proposing here is that Trump, he's on this coin with uh, Cyrus, okay? And with the, you know, the Rothschilds, the, the, the Balfour Declaration, which is just blowing me away here. And the reason why Trump is on there is because he has proclaimed that, you know, Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. The reason why Cyrus is on there is because, you know, he also, uh, he conquered the Babylonians for the Jewish people. And he became kind of like a savior to them. Okay. Now the Balfour was another thing. It was a decree that also put them in their homeland. Um, so, but the big kicker here is, is that Darius, not Cyrus, but Darius was the one that completed it. Now, like I said before, I don't believe that Trump, he might start the building of it. He might start the funding of it. But there's going to be somebody, somebody come on the scene here, okay, that is going to actually be the abomination. And he's going to stop those animal sacrifices. Now, this is in the Bible, Okay, this is actual scripture. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and let you take a little look-see so you guys can figure out what's going on with the whole situation here. Um, Trump might be the one to start the building and the funding of it. Okay, but I do believe that there is going to be somebody that's going to come along that is going to be the Antichrist. And he is going to stop those animal sacrifices. And he is going to proclaim himself to be God. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of, um, you know, history on this. And uh, because, like I said, the Bible usually repeats itself. That's just the way it is with God's word. Let's see. Was there anything else I wanted to put here? Um hold on i i know that they are they do already have the plans they have every single thing that they need to put in the temple i do believe that they do have the 71 of the high priest the kohen i believe already and like i said my computer is being a bear you guys um all that's left to do, it, it, actually they've already started, um, uh, let's see, they had already done some kind of um, temple mount. Um, well, I don't know what you want to call it, but it, it was the burning of the incense, and that, it hasn't been done in 2,000 years. And my computer won't come up, so I can't see. Oh, here we go. Um... Let's see here. Now this is talking about the uh, silver half shekel image courtesy of Mordecai Persoff. Rabbi Weiss stressed that Trump's goals will come to fruition only the, if they are geared towards rebuilding the Jewish temple. Now, Amanda had said that in her 1950s dream, Biff which I believe is Trump, said that, you know, he dropped all this change over here, and he said, y'all can have all this change over here, and then he dropped a 3D silver coin. 
He says, but you can't have this. He says, nobody's going to take my 3D. Okay, nobody's going to take that part of his glorification. Okay, um, so <laughs> like I said, I think he will, will be funding it. Um, but anyways, it says Cyrus and Balfour, non-Jews, who played an enormously important role in Jewish history, fell short, and their political success suffered as a result. Okay, because they're saying, you know, you know, they didn't complete what they started to do, and they fell short, and so, you know, they were, it wasn't completed. Let's see. Uh, that's what they're saying here. Trump's political agenda can only succeed if it is focused on building the third temple on the place that God chose. The Temple Mount, he must not... In oh, see, there am I... I'm sorry, guys. My computer is being a bear. It just skipped from one thing to the next. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. You guys heard um, the... the um, the real meat of what I was trying to get at here. I hope you guys have had a, have a blessed day. Uh, I will be back because there's a few more things that I want to put yeah. on here. <laughs> My husband's work's yeah. calling him right now. But I hope you guys have a blessed day. Amen and amen. <laughs>